We have just released Easy Worship 7.3, and it's now available for download and purchase on our website at easyworship.com. What Dan and I are here to do today is to tell you guys about all the new features that are available in this new version. Now, if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and select the notification bell below. Easy Worship is already a feature-rich program that you are all familiar with and you love it. With things like NDI integration, MIDI control, the foldback monitor, alpha channel, and just all around it's got an easy to use interface. But now our incredible minds at Easy Worship have added some new features like alternate output, contiguous view, shapes, element rotation, reflection blur, and more. That's right. We've also added several other enhancements to make Easy Worship even easier. Now, with everything that happened in 2020, the explosion of churches that started live streaming was real. Mm, preach it. And as you probably know, when they started meeting in person again, the need to have more than one output to be able to send to a front of house projector in addition to a live streaming service became essential. Absolutely. Now we took that to heart and started working on a separate output in Easy Worship, and we called it Alternate Output. Yeah. Edit that in, Bobby. Alternate Output. We had already been working on shapes, rotation, and contiguous view, so those were also added to this new version. Now, Dan, let's go ahead and talk about the contiguous view. Can you explain sort of what contiguous view is and what it'll do for our users? Sure. Now, you can enable contiguous view when you're in the preview and live combined view, and it will show your full schedule in the live window on the right-hand side. Just scroll up or down if necessary to see every slide in your schedule. Nice. Now, it makes navigation and live operation of Easy Worship so much easier. Now, whatever slide you click on in the live window is instantly live. There's no need to double click or click the go live button to send it to your live output. Hopefully this will save people a lot of time yeah. when using this view. Now I've gone live to the first slide just by selecting it in the live window. Now I can just press the right arrow key on the keyboard to advance the slides. When I get to the last slide and press the right arrow key again, it'll select the next scheduled item. I need to press it one more time to send the first slide live. Then it will advance through the slides each time I press it. Again, when I get to the end, I press it again to select the next scheduled item and just continue pressing that right arrow key through the entire schedule. If your schedule isn't linear, this view still makes it much easier because you can still just click on any slide that you want in that live window. Mm. Now, as I mentioned, contiguous view is only available in the preview and live combined view. So if you don't already use that view, you can change it by going to the view menu, selecting preview and live combined. Then to enable contiguous view, click on the icon size button at the top of the schedule window and click on contiguous. Now I think once you use this feature in a live service, it'll quickly become your favorite view in Easy Worship. Absolutely. So Dan, let's go ahead and move right along and go ahead and explain the shapes feature and what that's gonna do for any Easy Worship user. Sure. Now there have been a lot of users over the years that have wanted a way to add shapes or masking to their output. With the new shapes engine in Easy Worship, you can do that. Mm. When you open the editor, whether you're editing a song, a presentation, or a theme, you can add lots of different types of shapes to your slides. Cool. Now the shapes can then be resized, reshaped, rotated, filled with text, color, gradient, or even a media item and placed anywhere you want on the slide. Nice. It's a great way to enhance your backgrounds or use the shapes to mask areas where you don't want anything showing on the screen. So it kind of sounds like you can do really anything you want with the shapes editor. You're really only limited by your creativity. Exactly. Awesome. Now, do you want to go ahead and walk us through how to use shapes and access those? I guess so. So you can access and use shapes in the editor. Just like Dan mentioned before, you can edit a song, scripture, a presentation, or a theme. I'm just going to edit a song we have here in the schedule as an example. We're going to right click on the item that we want and click on edit. If you want to add a shape for an individual slide, 
you can select your slide and start adding shapes. If you want to add your shapes to the theme, so it shows on all slides that are using that theme, click on the Masters tab. Now click on the Shape button on the toolbar and select the shape you want. From here, you can resize it by clicking any of the resize points on the edge of the shape. If you want to keep it in proportion, just hold down the Shift key as you resize it. You can click and drag the yellow point on the shape to reform the shape. If you're wanting to rotate it, you can click and drag the double arrow point on the shape. If you want to change the fill color or even fill it with one of your media items, select the shape element and then go to the inspector in the top right corner. Under element, click on fill, and then select whether you want a solid color, gradient, or a media fill. I'm going to select a media fill and choose to fill it with a motion video. When you're finished adding and editing your shapes, Click OK to save the changes. And now for what everyone has been waiting for, alternate output. Dan, show us how to set it up and access it. I would love to. Now when alternate output is enabled, you can send a dedicated output from a separate video port on your computer to other screens, send it directly through NDI to your streaming software or even another computer, or send a broadcast signal to your mixer using the alpha channel. This allows you to keep your main in-house projection the way you want. And if you're using foldback, you can keep that displaying for anyone on the stage. The alternate output will have the same content, but it's able to have a different theme set to it. So if you have still or motion backgrounds on your main output, you can have a camera feed or a different background going to your alternate output. Okay, that makes sense. Now to give you an idea of what the different outputs will look like, here are some examples. This is our front of house projection and it has a motion background with the text full screen. The fold back is set to our black background with white text and shows the next item information and the clock. For the alternate output, we have the live feed set as the background and then the text set on the lower thirds. Now to make this happen, we just added one of the new shapes at the bottom and filled it with the same background as the front of house and put the text box on top of that. To enable the alternate output, go to the edit menu in Easy Worship and select options. Then click on the alternate output on the left and check the box to enable it. Under the output monitor selection, choose where you wanna send it either to another monitor, a custom position, NDI, or even choose to send it to your mixer using Alpha Channel. There are a lot of other settings here as well if you want to change anything like the song font, transitions, or alerts. When you're done setting it up the way you want, just click OK. To set your alternate output theme like we did in that previous example, Go to the Themes tab and right-click on the one you want to use and select Set as Default Alt Song Theme. If you don't see this option, that means you haven't enabled alternate output in the options yet. To set an alternate output scripture or presentation theme, just do the same thing from the scripture or presentation theme libraries. Pretty easy. Now when you go live, your alternate output will display your content on the theme you selected. If I change my live output view to alternate output, you can see how the themes are different, but the content is the same. Which is the end goal. That's right. Now we know a lot of you have been waiting for this, and so we hope these new features enable you to do more in an easier way. If you already have a subscription, you can download the update from our downloads page on our website. For free. If you don't have a subscription to Easy Worship 7, you can download the fully functional demo from our website and try it out. Or you can purchase a subscription for a low monthly or annual fee. Which isn't free. Now, if you like what you see in this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and then select the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. And guys, that wraps up our summary of Easy Worship 7.3. Our team has put a ton of time into making this release incredibly special for our users. And we are so excited to see how you use these new features in your services to make them better and easier. 
Thank you for watching. Thanks for choosing Easy Worship.